Okay, tonight we're going to tie a Prince Nymph. We're going to start with a Fulling Mill 50A5 2X long shank with a Tactical Fly Fisher slotted bead 2.8 millimeter in copper. Unfortunately, I don't have any countersunk beads. We go with Vivas Penaut in red. And let's start with some uh, lead free wire here just to seat this bead. Five wraps here. We don't need too many. Wraps around that butt end there. That sucker it off. Do that a little bit to make sure that bead is good and seated. A little bit different having a slotted bead there instead of a counter bead. Back here at the back, I do like to. Make just a little bit of a ball of thread there. It helps keep these goose bias splayed apart here. I'm going to use fiery brown. And with the length of this tail, I think it can be a little tricky. Um, get those biots splayed away from each other. I don't like a full hook length. I don't like half. I like somewhere in the three quarters is about right. Be right about. Out these butt sections here, and you tying those down. For the rib on this, I'm going to use some small copper wire. I like to leave it on the spool, tie it in. I think it helps me wrap better. And I can just hang that off of the back. Back here to the front, where now we can tie in our peacock curl. I like, you know, just three strands is really all you need. For this one. I like to get three strands, trim off those tips. So everything's nice and even. those in, tie those back all the way to the, the back here, and bring the thread all the way up to the bead. Now I am ready to wrap these forward with touching turns, trying to keep it, trying to keep all these fibers together. Sometimes they like to separate out on you. Do the best you can. Only getting those three will help this from getting too bushy.
four outs behind. Right in front. Turn those out. Now we have the spool hanging back here. We'll go ahead and grab our wire and counter wrap. Helicopter this off. Now we are ready for our hackle. I had gone ahead and bought a Herbert Miner wet fly hackle from Mining Farms, and this stuff is great. The one thing I do notice with this is these fibers are. There are a lot of small fly hackles on here. Um, I like this one a little bit longer on, on this fly. To reach back and touch that hook point or even a little bit more. which a lot of those, uh, the cheaper hackles that I've bought before, they just don't have the sizes for these. So I'm going to go ahead and tie this in nice and tight here, the front. Tip out that butt. I like to keep this couple wraps right up here behind the Find the bead because we will try to preen everything back and wrap back on it a little bit uh, when we put in our, our wing with those uh, with the goose by out wing that goes on this. So again, a couple behind, one in front. Turn out that butt section. I'll probably get another another fly out of this. Try to. This is not as easy as it sounds because these hooks are so sharp. When you do this, you kind of run into them. There we go. Those are kind of splaying back for the most part. Yeah, we'll go ahead and trim out. And we also need to kind of trim out a section up here at the top. Maybe wouldn't be completely necessary. But it's kind of nice to have them out of the way of your white goose biots. Pack of white goose biots. Or kind of emergent wing, just some random horns to be an attractor. Who knows? But we just want them kind of splayed across from each other and kind of pointing down like that. And we can get them right here on top. Do a few thread 
wraps around and like pull those back and over. A few more wraps because then when you pull these back, one that really locks those in place, but no one's going to notice if you get a good cut off on those because those are going to hide in these horns here. You can take your bodkin and kind of get those to kind of bend those up a little bit if they're laying down a little more than you like. And then there you go there. Up there. But now it's time to whip finish. This fly has a nice red kind of a hot spot collar. I also like tying these with fluorescent orange thread. Really like the fluorescent orange thread. There you go. There is Prince Nymph. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a, a like and throw a comment down and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.